The federal government has approved the use of sonic air cannons to search for oil off the coast. The cannons bounce sound waves off the ocean floor to detect oil and gas deposits. The Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce supports the testing. They put out a statement that says, a sensible approach to offshore energy development will create jobs and enhance our economy without threatening tourism. But tourists I talk to say they don't want to see oil rigs off Myrtle Beach's coast. Totally out of place. You could not imagine what it is now to capture that site that we have right at this moment. The ecosystem, the everything that's in the ocean, I, disrupting that just to do that with oil, it needs to be left alone. A spokesperson for the Coastal Conservation League says the sonic testing could lead to the deaths of 200,000 whales and dolphins. She says it's not worth the risk. Do we want the infrastructure that having gas and oil rigs is going to require on our shores? And do we want to take the risk uh, of another BP-like spill on South Carolina beaches? But the head of a South Carolina gas and oil trade group says any oil rigs would be so far offshore they would not impact tourism. They would drill, um, it would have to be 20 or more miles off the coast, and you would not be able to see the rig. But the truth of the matter is they think it's going to be more like 50 miles out.